like Scientology, like Scientology for face value, they push this book called Dianetics, which basically, you know, it, it, um, it talks about being productive and getting things done and bettering yourself. Um, and once you get inside and start to pay them all kinds of money, I mean, that's a huge thing is they want money from you. That's how they, that's how they survive. Um, besides being tax exempt, of course. But once you sort of level up in Scientology, now they reveal to you this galactic confederacy ruled by this overlord by the name of Xenu. And you don't hear about any of that until you get inside and pay them a bunch of money. Otherwise, people would just think it's complete horseshit. Yeah, you're right. Um, that is the, I would describe as the worm on the hook. When you catch the fish, you've got to put the worm on the hook. You just give them the hook and the fish will never bite. So the worm on the hook for Satan is, is what you described as the satanic temple claiming that uh, it's about worship of self and they'll probably bring in nice attractive phrases like self-esteem, self-realization, etc., etc. And as with the book Dianetics for Scientologists, this is the worm on the hook for Satan is draw people in. But the thing about Satanism is that, as with Scientology, as many people have alleged, I think, um, once you're in, it's pretty hard to get out. You may even find yourself being seriously threatened when you try to get out. Right. So once you bite on that attractive looking worm, like a fish, you're on the hook, and it's not going to be easy to get yourself off the hook. And there's going to be a lot of fighting that you're going to have to do. So it's better not to get in in the first place. Now, what is your, what have you studied on Anton LaVey? Is he, do you think Anton LaVey was involved with any sort of child abuse or this pedophilia? What I understand about LaVey is that there has, there has been at least one allegation of SRA against him, uh, apparently by a family member. Um, I don't dwell a lot on US SRA cases for the simple reason that I've got more than enough UK SRA cases that more than fill up my plate. But this is what I understand from a US uh, source who works on SRA, that there has been a, a serious allegation of SRA against uh, Anton LaVey, at least one, if not more. Mm. Um, the, the fact of the matter is, with Satanists especially, you, you should never take what they claim publicly at face value. You've got to look deep behind because they are masters of deception. You know, I, I describe Satanists uh, as uh, Oscar-winning actors and actresses because they put on Oscar winning performances all their lives. Imagine some of them are very respectable. They do respectable jobs. Some of them are even in government. But at night when they believe that no one is watching and they're at their coven meetings, they do the most horrific things to children or vulnerable adults. And then they go back to respectability the next morning and carry on with their uh, respectable jobs, sometimes very highly paid professional jobs. And so they lead this double life all their lives. And so they're very good at deception. They're very well practiced at it. I remember once meeting a, a former senior police detective in the UK, who by the way, is a Satanist abuser himself. I know from various victims who've seen him at the rituals and uh, one of whom was even uh, sexually assaulted by him. And he was acting the act very convincingly as the former police detective and speaking very convincingly. And the interesting thing is he was trying to persuade me not to describe SRA as Satanist ritual abuse because the one thing Satanists hate is for the finger to be pointed at Satanists or Satanism. They hate that. 
hmm. which is all the more reason why we need to say SRA, Satan's ritual abuse, because then we are pointing to the source of SRA, which is Satanist rituals, Satanist beliefs. Without Satanist beliefs, there would be no SRA. You see, that's why they hate that so much. They, they need to at least get the word Satanist dropped from SRA to help conceal themselves. And every time we expose them, we are helping to protect children by making it harder for them to remain hidden and to remain uh, in secret. And we make it harder for them to mainstream themselves and get respectability as a major religion because you cannot recognize a belief system that encourages serial torture of children, serial killing, and serial sexual, sex abuse of children to become a, a, a religion. It's, it's, it's like saying, well, you know, why don't we, we take the practices of Ted Bundy and turn that into a religion? You know, because you're just giving a license to sociopaths to start their own religion if you do give that kind of recognition to the people behind SRA, mm. you see? But they want, they want the financial benefits, they want the political benefits of becoming a respected religion. And they are further down the road on this in the US than they are in the UK. In the UK at the moment, they're still trying to pretend they don't exist. But we know that they exist. <laughs>